Hi, it's Brett, and in this episode 163 of Nuggets Dungeon Terrain, I'm going to be building the third set of four traps that are magnetically clipping on to the Death Trap Dungeon set that I built a few episodes ago. If you're joining us for the first time, here's a look at the eight traps that have been built so far. Be sure to go back and catch these in the past two episodes. As you can see, I have a custom built card for each one, so that I can randomise them, and as the players move around the dungeon, they can find out what trap pokes out of which wall. First up is a void trap. This is going to be based on a plate that looks like it's some kind of bronze or brass metal. The void trap draws a player, or the whole party, into another realm, trapping them there for a certain amount of time and stopping them from being able to help the other people who are involved in a battle or some other challenge like that. The first thing you're going to think is who would be dumb enough to stand around and wait for a drill to slowly pass through them. But if you're in a tight enough space and maybe blocked by the rest of the party or some kind of barrier, a drill slowly working its way out of a hole in the wall directly into you would be about as terrifying a trap as you could come across. This large metal screw is going to be attached through the hole in this XPS foam. The screw is the large fat kind that goes into jib or drywall. Not all traps have to have blood and gore piled all over them, but I wanted to make the drill trap look particularly nasty. So I took some of this fabric glue, and as it dries, which is pretty quickly, I just stretch out the spiderweb-like strands over the different parts of the screw. Let's continue on the theme of being drilled and torn to pieces. This is a grinder trap. It has a small treasure in it that tempts a player to reach in to try and steal it. As soon as your hand moves into the trap, of course all of the gears start turning 
and the blades start moving in different directions, clutching at your skin and your clothing and dragging you in more until it starts mincing you up. Finally the flying blades trap. Here are two spinning sharp blades come flying out of the wall and go down the passage towards you. The blades themselves are two halves of a steampunk cog.
Thank you once again for joining me and making it to the end of another video. There's a couple more sets of these traps to come and I'll join you next week with the next set.